Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lesia and today I'm going to be talking about the books that have been waiting for me in Amsterdam where I am right now. So let's get into it. So this will be my first video from Amsterdam and the funny thing is over the past few months I have been ordering books uh, to come here and uh, finally I have them on my hands so I'd love to show you the books that I got here and the books that I'm looking forward to reading in the nearby future. The first book that I want to show you is the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by Jim Kay and I'm sure you all know this book seeing as the second one has just come out and is waiting for me um, in the store I am sure I'm going to be buying that one maybe I'll wait until it's a bit cheaper but this book is absolutely gorgeous I've had a chance to look through the illustration but I couldn't have the time to read it just yet but now it's finally the time to do so because the last time I reread Harry Potter has been two years ago and I'm super eager to be in that world again and with new illustrations I imagine this is going to be a pretty cool journey. The next book that I have waiting for me right here is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein and this is a book I got to my boyfriend for uh, New Year's I think and it has been here ever since he has been done with the book already but I haven't read it and I've heard wonderful things about it from uh, Jen M from Close Encounters and the booktube community as well and this is a story following a player who is uh, participating in this virtual reality game and has to go through all the levels and the labyrinth to get this huge prize and uh, the book is full of 80s um, reminiscent uh, games and references and although I wasn't really born in the 80s I don't really know that much I'm still very interested to find out uh, what is the magic of this book. Another book that has been waiting for me here quite a while is a paperback edition of Marion Case Rachel's Holiday. This is one of my favorite contemporary reads and this is not really a chick flick but somewhere in between. I've talked about this book quite a lot and about Marion Case in general so I'll link to this video up here if you want to see but um, here but also the fun thing about this one is that um, it's good for autumn mood but this is not the edition I wanted this is a secondhand paperback because it's quite hard to find um, beautiful editions of Marion Case's books because the latest ones are not as gorgeous this is not the one I wanted by but I'm going to keep this one nonetheless because it's really really cute. A very recent arrival is a book that I've been waiting to get since last summer and this is a book by Felicia Day, You're Never Weird on the Internet, Almost and it's blurbed by George R. R. Martin uh, who we know is probably very picky about who he blurbs and what he says about those kinds of books but um, Felicia is an amazing person and a YouTuber and I've known her since 2010 from her The Guild series on the web, still available on YouTube and she is a geek and a wonderful sunny kind of person and I relate to her a lot which is why I want to know what she has to say. I have already seen that um, the book is pretty short and I'm always really picky about um, YouTuber books because I never uh, know whether this is actually worthy content or not but uh, with Felicia I'd love to give this one a try and tell you what I get from it later on. One of the favorite books that I read in this year is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb but I had this paperback edition with this uh, illustrated cover which was really really small and pocket framed so I decided to change up and get the rest of the books in a different edition which is why I got this book. Um, that's The Assassin's Apprentice, a brand new copy and I really like the sheen and the gold lettering on this one and the uh, writing as well which is why I got this book which I already read Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb which is the second book in that trilogy and it's also very 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 beautiful and Assassin's Quest which is the thickest of them all with gorgeous spines and it's looking absolutely magnificent and if you look at all those books together you can see they're getting progressively bigger as the series goes on which gives me very very much hope for a long read. Assassin's Apprentice was an amazing book and Robin Hobb has a lot of these books in the series which is why I'm sure that my shelves will be full with Robin Hobb books very very soon but it's following Fitz who is a royal bastard living in the center of the kingdom being educated to become an assassin 
assassin because this is the only career path available for him and he's struggling to maintain uh, his life to find friends, to find someone who he can trust and depend on and this is the story of him growing up and this is only the first book and I've loved it so much so I'm going to be reading this one to get on the next ones and I absolutely cannot wait, it's brilliant. Another series that I got which arrived recently was a series that I uh, got recommended by Bruce Project uh, which means by Reagan and one of her videos and this is the School of Good and Evil series. Uh, she classified those as middle grade but I'm not really sure about those. They look really nice and this is a very beautiful boxed set and those are paperback editions. They had those in uh, hardcover as well but I thought that the paperbacks were nice and floppy so you can see um, there are a lot of order. So this is the first book and it's following two girls who are uh, dreaming of going into a magical academy that has two departments, the good and evil department and uh, they are thinking that they're going to get one of them is the good one and one of them is the bad one and when they get into a, the academy their standards are flipped overhead and apparently it's all not as they thought and the one that thought that she was the good one gets into the bad school and the good the the bad one gets it to the good school and everything is flipped and this is what I like so much about the sound of the series is that they flip your expectations and you know that those stereotypical understandings of good and evil in books and I would love to read something like that and um, the covers are also really really beautiful. I honestly can't wait to read these books especially seeing as I finally have a box set with books that easily go out and in of the box, unlike Harry Potter with the Hogwarts on the spines that I have, and I haven't reread it in two years, uh, because I was really dreading taking it out of the bookcase, because it's impossible to get it back in. So I'm so excited to read those books, and I'll report back to you. And the last thing that I'm going to show you today is some... Um, another trilogy which is a throwback into the 90s or 80s. I'm not sure about the publication date on these beauties. These are the series by Patricia Keneally and this is a fantasy and those are called the Keltiad series and they're following a heroine who comes into power and kind of gets uh, her king control of the kingdom she's in and she has to survive and I don't really know that much about the plot yet. I got them on a whim in the American Book Center here in Amsterdam because two of them were very, very cheap. I got the first book and the third one, but I was missing the second one, so I ordered it from eBay. But I'm not happy with the spine, as you can see, it's very, very cracked, although the book itself is in good condition. So I don't know if I'm going to replace this one yet, but I hope the series hold up and that it's something worth reading. Uh, because the silver on the cover and those 90s, 80s vibes really uh, get me going easily and I'd love to know what these series are about. I gotta say that there are more books that I've ordered which are headed my way as we speak and I can't wait to get my hands on those. But this is a book haul I'm going to be showing you guys a bit later. It's very, very mainstream, but also really, really cool. So I can't wait to show you guys. So for now, uh, this is it for this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And tell me what you would like to see now that I'm in Amsterdam. Maybe some lifestyle themed videos. I have a couple prepared and a couple that I want to show you. So please stay tuned for my vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and check out the first part of my Estonia vacation because it's already up and I enjoyed filming it so much so I'd love for you to check it out thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye